Oh. Short-sighted men have forbidden my research, not any god. <laughs> Enough. Why are you here? What is your intent? Lovely. Um, I've seen your experiments. They were necessary. Any tool, any iota of information that could defeat the fell demons was justified. As a warden, you should know that. Necessary. Having to relieve yourself after an eight-hour ride is necessary. But there's no excuse for summoning demons. <sighs> Charming. Uh, let's see here. How do you know I'm a warden? A combination of my research and blood magic. But even without that, who else would brave Soldier's Peak? Hmm... I'm here to recover the Grey Warden's base. I see nothing that could stop you now. Certainly not myself. Uh, I want some answers. To what questions, I wonder? Ask. Uh, how have you survived these many years? The Chantry foolishly forbids blood magic. But there are so many secrets to uncover. As my body decayed, I found ways to extend it. But that can only go so far. Hmm. Tell me about what happened here. What use would storytelling serve? The tyrant Arland is long dead, as is all our noble co-conspirators and the Grand Rebellion. Sophia's corpse may walk and talk, but she too is no more. Uh, how was Arland a tyrant? He ruled with fear and poison, his treachery pit noble against noble in terrible battle. We thought him a monster. We gathered allies to rebel. But the toll of years has erased our failure, hasn't it? It seemed so pressing then. But the kingdom lives on. Uh, what happened to the rebellion? Too many mouths to quiet. Even sorcery can only go so far. So we met with Tyrn Kuzland. With him on our side, we had a chance of victory. Instead, the King's Guard ambushed us. Commander Dryden and I barely escaped. Uh, you practice blood magic on the nobles? Of course, to nudge people to keep our secrets safe. Sophia should have let me nudge harder. Her scruples were her undoing. Uh, you had to know that summoning so many demons was foolhardy. Perhaps, but it was survival. For months, I prepared the summoning circles, researched the darkest depths of the Fade. That moment was a triumph of demonic law. Dozens of demons, called by my hand. Lovely. But with so many variables, I suppose, calculation errors were inevitable. Ugh. I was so close. Um, you're to blame for all this. Some things you just don't do. From a warden, that means something. So tired, so old. Then you shall be my judge. When you have what you need of me, I'll accept your judgment. Uh, Commander Dryden knew of the demons? She gave the order. I would have summoned the demons anyway. Only under Wardens can true magical research continue. A chance to rediscover the secrets of ancient Tevinta. You do remember how that ended. The Black City? Darkspawn? Chantry lies told to subjugate the mages to keep them docile. And how do you know the Chantry is wrong? And how do you know they are right? Their faith would have you swallow a great deal for small comfort. You sound proud of your actions. My only regret is that it failed, and that I never had a chance to make Arland pay. Uh, I want to ask about something else. Yes? Sophia's great-grandson brought me here. Levi, go ahead. Master Mage, uh, sir... My family name has been worth less than dirt for over a century. Do you have any proof that Sophia was a hero? The boy who braved the mists. So you heeded my call. Ha 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 ha, and you are a Dryden. 
The cosmos has a sense of humor. Uh, your call. He was but a boy when he entered the tunnels below the peak. His heart pure, his character certain. In dreams, I gave him the keys he would need. He would be my deliverance. Uh, just answer Levi's question. Your great-great-grandmother was the best of us. Brave, charismatic, fiery, utterly devoted to the fight. But still we lost. We fought against a tyrant, you know, so full of vigor then, so blind to consequence. But proof? There's none to be had. Lovely. Well, I'm sorry, Levi. Levy, whatever, man. Uh, I had hoped. But thank you, Warden. Uh, what was the purpose of your experiments? To stop the demonic tide, to correct the miscalculations of the past. Blood magic comes from demons. They could counter every bit of law I knew. But the darkspawn taint, that is alien to the them. darkspawn what? And it has power. What power? The wardens use it merely to sense darkspawn. A triviality. My research has discovered so much more. Hinted at even greater heights. This knowledge could not only save Soldier's Peak. With it, the wardens could grow even more powerful. Uh, this is wrong. You're no better than the demons. I have done what I must. But you shall be my judge. When you have what you need of me, I'll accept your judgment. Uh, the time for questions is over. Certainly. It seems you are done here. With the veil mended, I would seek to continue my experiments in peace. Perhaps I could advance the Warden's knowledge one last time before age claims me. Uh... No more dark research. Find humane ways to help the Wardens. Without test subjects, without other materials, you would cripple my efforts. But I will do what I can in this endeavor. I have little hope of discovering anything useful. But if I do, you will hear of it. Okay. Uh, now we're going to look around here. Miss Liliana. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So she popped that chest open. Uh, we're going to look around. We're going to look at this right. corpse. Uh... Got the History of Soldiers Peak, Chapter 4. Getting a look up here and seeing if there's anything else in this room. I don't think there is. Um, double check. Okay, uh, we're going, I don't think there's anything else here, we've already read those, uh, so we will push through here. Um, I kept Avernus alive because it's just a lot more helpful. Um, in the future, he does discover pretty useful stuff, and, you know, we can prevent him from, you know, murdering people to do his research, and I don't see why there's any problem. And then that way he can atone for all the bullshit he's done in the past. So... This one rages! The tower still stands! The Avernus yep. lives! This one is betrayed! Uh... In no part of the deal did you mention Avernus. You are an oath-breaker! You are scum! Now you die! Lovely. And so All right. <laughs> She's pretty easy to take out compared to her demons. We're gonna use our new powers here. So we're, we're dropping health, but we're super strong. Hell yeah. I think we Turn it off. Together. 
You've done it, Warden. Soldier's Peak is safe again. That old geezer of Vernus deserves the gallows, if you ask me, but people will do queer things to survive. But if Excuse he me? does the proper research, without the sacrifices and blood magic and all, yep. maybe he'll turn up something good. But there was no proof to redeem my family. Uh, the past won't offer redemption. No, your grandmother, I'm not sure about. But you're a good man. Well, I, uh, thanks, Warden. For so long, I was focused on the past, on answers. But I think I would have been better off had I stayed at home. Enough of that, though. I find myself at a loss. You've got a whole fortress now. I suppose I should start plying my trade again. Thank you, Warden. You've made me give up my lifelong quest for you. Uh, any chance I could convince you to stay on? You know I'm no good in a fight, but I'm a fair trader if I do say so myself. My cousins have been looking for a safe place to store trade goods, and the peak will do nicely. Whatever the Drydens have to offer are yours, for a sizable discount. Looks like we're done here. A demonic invasion thwarted, <laughs> Excuse a me? base safely rescued. We do good work. I will miss this place. It was infested with spirits and undead, but it had no birds. Not a single one of those malicious, spiteful little demons. Can we... can we just leave? <laughs> God damn, you guys. Okay, this is amazing armor that is specifically for my character. And that is... it is just amazing. So we're gonna put all this on... where the Warden Commander's armor. Hell yeah. Okay. Sweet. Looking excellent. Uh, and then just to see what the stats are on it. So, 10 fire resistance, armor, 5 stamina regen in combat, backstab damage, physical resistance, uh, 50 stamina. So it's it's pretty good, but I like it more for kind of the RP elements of it, I guess. Uh, okay, so we're out of here. We will come back because that meteorite ore, this is the only place to actually get it forged. So we're going to come back here. Uh, in a couple weeks, when not you know in real time, but in, in game time, a couple weeks, when they've got everything rebuilt. Uh, let me see. The record. Uh, you found the. Hold on. Okay, so we still have this quest. So let me, let me save. All right. Let me let me do this. Let me do a quick save. Okay. Now, let me tap out real quick. And I'm going to look up, and I'm going to see, um, you know, kind of what's up here. Take a look in the wiki. I know, this is riveting content. I do apologize here. Um, okay. Uh... Let's see. There's some stuff here that I didn't know even drops here. Uh, we need... Yeah, there's some stuff here that we haven't even gotten. Um, we'll come here and we'll pick up the meteorite sword later, but we need to do some quests here. Okay, so ancient history. Okay, so we're uh, so we're gonna do the ancient. We're doing the ancient history side quest here. Uh, so the statue, the book in the archives on the fourth floor, the raspberry jam, the corpse on the wall, uh, and then okay, got it. All right, I know exactly where we gotta go. All right, so we gotta go back up to the second floor here. I've actually never done that before. I d had no idea the, the, the how to finish this quest because, you know, like I said, in, in doing this, I want to do my due diligence. I want to make sure that we're look at this. We're doing everything. So check this out. Uh, you found an old painting, one dating back to Commander Asturian times. Perhaps Asturian's history points to this. We'll recite the Grey Warden oath, and boom, there's a chest. Sweet. So we pop the stash. Look at that. 
Look at that. Oh man. And the sword. Duncan's sword is still better, but that's a great sword. Alright. Uh, I think we're just gonna hang we're gonna hang on to Asturian's might, because when I can dual wield two swords, I think we might be wanting to use that. Alright. We'll get out, we'll peace out. Alright, now we've got everything here. Um, the only thing we don't have is, is Vernus' robes, but I mean, you literally have to get those by murdering him. And I'm not real, you know, keen on, on murdering the man, so we're not going to do that. Um, and the only other thing that drops is, like, Sophia's shield, but it's, like, a low, low drop rate. Um, same thing, like, Duncan's shield, that's a super low drop rate. So, not real, not concerned about it. I've never seen it, and, and I don't really care. I don't use shields anyway. So we're, we're done here. We're out the door. Completed all these quests. Let me just make sure. Yep, so now we're going to start uh, jumping in. We're actually going to... So we're going to start with the Urn of Sacred Ashes. Let me see. What time is it? Yeah, so we're going to we're gonna leave that. We're going to go back to camp here. We're going to sell some stuff. And so I shall. We're going to sell some stuff here. And then we're going to come back, we're going to have some conversations with some, with some party members. And then we will, nope, not, not over here. Uh, we're going to have some conversations with some party members. Uh, and then we will pick back up where we left off, pretty much. Okay, so you need to level up. You get more magic. And you get this play. Uh, who else needs to level up? Sten, I think. Yeah. Okay, Sten needs to... He gets strength and more constitution. And he's gonna get... Two-handed strength. Okay. Uh, and then Sten. Do I have anything you can wear? I don't think he can really wear any of this stuff yet. Oh well, whatever. Uh, we'll go bottom. Something you need? Yes. Sure, either my boy or I. Let me see your wares. Okay. And yeah, don't worry, we will get to know all these guys. Uh, we're gonna sell Olaf's cheese knife. Uh, we're gonna sell Oathkeeper, the Darkspawn Mace, uh, the Longbow. We're gonna sell these Ice Arrows. Uh, we will sell... Two of these heavy chain mail. Uh, sell the heavy metal shield. Okay. Got it. Um, and then who do we have? Alistair, I'm going to give you... No, because that reduces hostility. So Sten, I'm going to give you the belt. You'll get the shadow belt. Uh... And then, can you use the Nug Crusher yet? No, you need more strength. Uh, heavy Chain Mail. We're going to give him the Heavy Chain Mail. And he's got boots. Actually, we're going to give him Heavy Plate Boots. Uh, and then Heavy Chain Mail on his chest. Which he already had, but just making sure. Uh, and then... We're going to give him a soldier's helm. Okay. And that's pretty much all we can do for him for right now. Alright, cool. So we're looking good in our nice warden armor here. Uh, everyone else is looking pretty well armed. She's got a dope crossbow now. Alistair's got some okay gear, but we're going to put him in Kalen's gear, in King Kalen's gear, once he gets a little bit more leveled up. Um, but for now, thank you for joining me once again here. Uh, we're going to start off next time with talking to a few party members, uh, getting familiar with everybody, getting our, you know, their kind of, uh, 
allegiance to us up and, and just kind of working on things. Uh, for now, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Oh, and don't forget, if you like us, uh, please make sure you follow us on Twitch and support us on Patreon. Uh, and also check out culturedworldblog.wordpress.com, uh, where you can see all of our works that make all of this possible. Uh, we do daily posts on uh, all media that uh, we think is great, terrible, whatever. Uh, we consume all of it, so you don't have to. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.